hello everyone welcome to sd data for qa automation if you are new here to this channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to get notification of all my videos today we are diving into the practical guide on the testing rest api post request using rest assured so whether uh, you are a seasoned tester or getting started this tutorial will help you understand how to efficiently verify your apis so i'll cover everything from the setting up your environment to write and execute the test case related to that rest api post request so let's get started you can see my eclipse id over here where i have created a couple of uh, test related to how to test the weather api and uh, how to test get request okay so for this uh, demonstration i'm going to use a rec response dot in uh, site where i'll get uh, uh, several apis these are the fake apis right you can use uh, to write the test cases okay so this is my rest api post request so i'm going to use uh, this particular you know uh, api so let's let me just click on this post and see this is what i'm getting over here okay so this is my request and this is my response so i'm gonna get 201 in the response and that will have these things this json entry and this is my json request okay so let us uh, go to the eclipse and create one class and see how we can form a json request and how we have to send it to the server okay so let me create one test ng class for the post request post request test and yeah so let me just copy a couple of libraries from the previous you know class okay so these are nothing but the uh, test ng and uh, static import rest assured static imports you can import like this uh, and uh, let me just quickly show you what is there in the pom.xml so so far i have added uh, rest assured and test ng dependency in the pom.xml for this particular you know project rest assured all right let's come back to this and add whatever you have copied so this is going to be my imports for this post request test okay so let me just create one test ng method public while in post request okay all right <clears throat> so now what <clears throat> what you have to do here is you have to uh, create a you know a json object okay so you can uh, go ahead with the uh, map concept also you but uh, you have to do a lot of things right so right now uh, our uh, focus is to be uh, i mean focus is to construct the json uh, object okay how the request look like how the uh, body looks like how the request looks like okay so this looks like I mean, we have a curly brace and we have name uh, enclosed with a double quote okay and then colon and then this is the key value basically in the map you have key value right so here using json object we are going to you know create the map like key value so i'm going to use i'm going to use json object and how I will get, I'm not getting anything, right? Until I add that JSON library, so which I can get in the Maven ambient repository. So let's go to the Maven repository and uh, search for simple JSON. So that is the API, that is the API provided by the simple JSON. Okay, that is API provided by the Google. So you can go, you are going to use 1.1 1 .1 and you can see it is very old API, still it is very re relevant. So I'm going to take this dependency and add it to the pom.xml. Otherwise, those uh, objects, those classes will not be available. Okay. Now when you add this, it will be available in your Maven dependency. Okay. So that you know, right. So simple JSON is available now. It has been downloaded to your local and added to the build path also. So now since it has been added to the build path, it will be available, okay? For, so JSON object you can see. Now I have JSON object and now I will create a request, okay? So let me create the object of JSON object. And then what I am going to do here, so let me just take this example and the name and it can be anything, job, 
can be anything okay but these are the key should be as is as per the api okay so let me just add those to this request so i will put the request is your name and then the value it could be of object or it could be of a string so here it looks like both are a string okay so name i can give my name or you can give yours okay this could be anything but the key should be name and the request dot put what is the key job okay so i can mention engineer okay give semicolon let me just maximize this all right now what you have to do you have to just um, you can just verify if you are getting the right set of you know request which you want to you know send it to the server so you can just uh, print this request and json object you can convert this uh, to the to json string right to json string just to make sure everything is converted to the json string and i'll run it just to make sure if i'm getting the request in this form okay using this library let me minimize this a little bit and i'll see the console since i'm printing i can see okay so i have got json a request now okay so this looks like i'm in json request now okay which i'm going to you know use in the post request okay let me maximize this again and what i'll do now so i will just use the base uri and uh, what is that base uri is my this one site address right so i'm going to use this create and let me just take this as a base uri this url particular okay and the end point is your users okay which we are going to use so here what i'll do now uh, i'll be using that end point for the post request so let me just write the given notation rest is short dot given so here i'll start i can start when i have uh, done the static import i can start with a given okay this bdd style so here i can use some header or uh, simply you know i can use the body let me write in the body i am going to send um a request okay request json and just make sure to string you are sending json string and then body is this so what you are going to do you are going to use when when and with the post right so what you are going to uh, what action you are going to perform post post and here you can give your uri also what is that uri users right users so this is the end point now when you have this let me just write everything in the new line so this is how you are going to you know construct and also you are going to uh, verify uh, through assertion okay so you are going to verify if particular you know request was successful and you are getting the expected response code status code so when we are sending then what we are expecting everything is in uh, this one why this is adding on its own so let me just write then and then the status code should be i can write a status code here so for this a uh, status code should be uh, 201 okay and i can also print the log and let me just use all okay so this is how you are going to you know verify this okay so if it returns 201 it means your uh, request is going to be uh, you know served is served with successful masses okay so this is how you can construct the api uh, post api request okay 
using the rest assured. Let me just run it and see how it goes. Save it to see the console. You can just minimize and see the request is getting served. Let me just, I'm also interested in seeing the logs so I can see everything is over here, right? So this is getting created and it is giving me the response also 201, 201 created. So how you can see like how, uh, what all HTTP responses are there. So for that, you can see HTTP response codes. So there is a site called uh, developer.modular.org. You can see all the responses or uh, response type. Okay. For the informational uh, 100 to 199 and for the successful response, these are the codes. Okay. These are the response code from 200 to 299 for the successful responses, redirection for uh, redirection messages. Like if you are getting a 300 to 399, those are nothing but the redirectional messages, client message and the uh, phone uh, from 400 to 499 client error uh, responses and server responses like from 500 to 599 right so let us click on this successful and you can see 200 and let us see the 201 also see we are getting the 201 so this is successful response http response and when we uh, should expect this response the request succeeded and the new resources was created as a result so this is typically the response sent after post request or some put request also okay so we are going to we are sending post request and api is returning 201 so which is successful and when uh, the resource get created with the Raghavin and the engineer. So these are the thing. Okay, let us change this name and see how it goes. So whether our API understand this or not. So here uh, it is accepting everything in the key uh, key value. Okay, everything in the string. So it accept this as well. Okay, so we are not uh, validating anything around this name. So it could be anything. As of now, in this uh, fake key, okay. So it is expecting everything, accepting everything in the string, okay. Don't worry too much about this. The uh, demonstration was on like how we have to send the post request, okay. And these are the string, string. So you can uh, even write something like this also. So let us see the console and see what it is actually ex uh, accepting here. So here you can see the fake key also. It is ex accepting. There is no uh, nothing like a primary key or anything of that. Like okay, it should be in this form or that form. Any string it is accepting, accepting. Okay. So fake key one two. Okay. Job this is job now it is going to be this all right see we are getting this we are getting 201 and this is how the requests are getting created it says right it has got created and everything is passed so this is how you have to test your rest api post request using the rest assured all right Hope you have liked the explanation and learned from this video. Please do like and subscribe to this channel and uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Till then, keep learning.